All right, welcome. This is going to be a quick video on how to convert an SVG file to a .eps file. Um, so SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. And we're going to um, convert one of those files to a .eps file, encapsulated postscript, uh, so that you can modify the file in Illustrator and use it in graphic design and such. So um, I'm in... I I'm in Safari right now, and I'm at the recycling symbol uh, page in Wikipedia. And you'll notice that there is the recycling symbol logo here. Uh, if we go ahead and click on that picture, it'll take us to um, files that you can download. So you can download PNG files of this logo in various sizes, but you can also download the SVG file. Now if I click on that, um, you'll notice up here that you have a file that ends in .svg. And so what we can do with that is we can go to develop and show page source. And then we've got the SVG file page source right here. Now this is what I do. There's probably a different way to do it, but this is what I do. Um, I just copy all of that code and then I open up a text editor in this case text wrangler and then I paste that code in here in a new document and then go up to file and save save as and I'm just gonna save it to the desktop and we're gonna name this recycle dot SVG make sure you have .svg on there and then we'll go ahead and close text wrangler close the window for the SVG file and then we can just minimize Safari and then we'll open up the uh, we'll open up Illustrator here and then we're gonna open a file in Illustrator. I'm going to navigate to the desktop and then you'll notice that I have this recycle.svg. So if I go ahead and open that, it's going to give me the option to um, to open this file as a text file or SVG. I'm going to go ahead and select SVG. I'm going to open that and then you'll notice that it gives me this new file or, or this, uh, it gives me the file um, just as it was on the web page. And so each one of these uh, elements are editable. You can um, change these however you want, just like you would um, editing a, a .eps file. So anyways, once we have it open, we can go ahead and save a copy, or save as, and then we can change this option down here to Illustrator EPS and hit save and uh, depending on what uh, version you want to save it in there's other options but I just save it as a regular uh, .eps and now I've got a .eps file that I can use to um, manipulate however I want and uh, the advantage of this er, well the cool thing about this is you can find .svg files uh, a lot more easily now so you, you can you can find these SVG files pretty easily and then you can just convert them to .eps uh, really simply using the steps I've just shown so uh, if, if anybody has any other uh, any other tips or tricks uh, feel free to leave them below in the comments or go ahead and uh, respond with a video of your own so hope this helps have a great day